<laughs> Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Mario and today we're checking out the biggest purchase, biggest project of my life. So it might be a smart one, it might be a sketchy one. I guess we'll find out in due time. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. We're going into the new year, end of 2022. It's been a wild year and you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what we got in store. Let's go check out the projects we have sitting here as well as the house. We have my two babies here, the 77 911S and the 76 912E. Both of them need a little bit of different work. This one needs obviously the cosmetics, needs a full paint job. The 912E needs the mechanicals going through as well as the interiors. Uh, we got some new wheels for the 77 here. The 912E, it's a narrow body, almost all original car. This is a bad boy wide body. We're gonna try to make it mean. It's gonna be kind of the toy and that's just gonna be the Sunday cruisers. So if you or anyone you know owns a wrap shop or some kind of custom car shop that might wanna wrap this thing, do a little collab or a sponsorship, hit me up. We can do something crazy with this thing. It'll be fun, it'll be seen by tons of people. It'll push me to get the body work done sooner so we can get it wrapped and get this thing back on the road. So before we get into the house a little bit, here's a little bit of a masterpiece that came out of it during the demo. It's a little jacuzzi tub. Um, I don't know, man, with the recent snow we had, we maybe can make it into a sled, like a bobsled, put some kind of rails underneath, go down some mean hills, pull this bad boy with the 911, you guys know I'd be sick. Skirt some corners with this bad boy. Let me know. So the goal in this home is just to be basically like all of our automotive and car projects. You know, we want this thing to be super quality. You know, it's a beautiful home. We just want to make this thing come out. Just like all of our builds, you know, we want this house to be super quality, super stout. You know, to the T, everything has to have its its craftsmanship. You know what I mean? So, so we're gonna continue and you know work on this thing and bring you guys the content. We're here in the construction demo zone. So this house, surprisingly enough, was super nice when we bought it. We got it for a cool 1.8 mil. You know, pretty good deal in this market. As you can see, this is a big box we're sitting in, and it's gonna take a lot to remodel. I'm okay with cars, but this is gonna be a big learning experience. The main reason I wanted to post this video is to kind of just get a feel for if you guys want to see these remodeling type videos doing tile work doing the finishing work picking and choosing a faucet picking and choosing a shower head assembly this is all stuff that you guys need to know and at one point in your life you or your wife it's going to be a very important thing to know so let me know if you guys want to see this we're going to go and continue to walk through the house so we're here in the kitchen or what used to be the kitchen we completely demoed the entire thing ripped off some soffits so this is a very important part of the house obviously your wife or your cook, whoever's the cook in your family is gonna be in here 24 seven. It's usually a triangle layout from the sink, the stove and the fridge. So you wanna make sure it makes sense as far as a practicality standpoint and you don't wanna be bumping into a lot of stuff. So it's been a trial and error and actually almost a month of trying to decide what we wanna do with this thing and how we wanna lay it out. But there's gonna be a lot of changes coming. You know, I'll probably bring the content. I think it'll be fun. It's a little bit different and I'm gonna always have the cars, you know, as well as in the episodes. So in this room is basically the formal dining room and living room. There's not much to really be done. We knocked down a few things that's gonna need some refinishing. We kept deciding if we wanted to vault the ceiling or not. Our layout basically constrains us on the options that we have to actually vault. We're gonna try to put the drywall dust into jars and sell it to you guys. 150 bucks a jar, I think that's pretty fair. Cause you know, if you go to Home Depot and try to get you some drywall, like if you really wanted to, you know, you could probably patch your house up a little bit, a few of these squares. So we got a little bit more demo to go. So there's always something changing. Someone might change their opinion. Someone might change their thoughts. And that means, yep, start over. So some walls are gonna come down, some are gonna be extended, some blown out. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything on that. And of course, let's keep it moving. You said what? That, that wasn't the right wall? Oh, snap. So a little bit, what's that word? A little bit more of a emphasis. A little more emphasis on the wallpaper. This entire foyer area that we were in was wallpaper. This wall, all those ceilings up there, even behind you, that was all wallpaper. Scaffolding came in clutch, but it was not fun. You know, it's, it's something that you have to do when you get some projects like these. We're gonna be headed into the bathroom. Another opportunity to have a full bathroom remodel series. That would be really cool to bring you guys if you guys are interested. I have to move this plumbing to that wall, I have to kind of extend some stuff, drains, tile so we got a basement we actually haven't checked it out yet mm -hmm. 
going into the backyard. So it's perfect sloped away from the house. So, you know, you never really want water problems when you're working with a home or purchasing a home. Our plans are basically gonna to be to take the garage, extend it over the house, bring it over to the backyard and make about a 22 car garage. Just a little extension, you know, nothing too crazy. I don't even think, you know, I have to involve the city or any permits. So, you know, we're not worried about any of that. You know, with this slope, we're gonna basically be able to do whatever we want you know, have room for all the builds plus some more. So it should be pretty fun. So we're, uh, we'll figure it out. We have some uh, neighbors watching us. <laughs> Me holding a freaking wrench, dude, as a mic. Nice, good first impression. <laughs> I swear, they've been walking around like all day. Oh, that's cool, they might see you. Yeah, they might see you. <laughs> Back in the house, let's go hide. The first week of me working here, my phone died and I was sawzawing in the master bedroom and the cops came. So I got a noise complaint my first week. And yeah, so they don't really like me here as a neighbor, but I have a plan. See, I'm not really a bad guy. I just need to like remodel the whole house after my whole full-time job and trying to keep up with YouTube. But I'm gonna make good with my neighbors. I'm gonna, you know, send some letters. We'll walk around with some baskets and, you know, give some hugs and some handshakes. So, you know, we're not, I'm not trying to make people angry out here. It's just, you know, I'm trying my best to keep people happy and still get the job done and job not done. Cause, you know, maybe we'll give a Porsche or two away. I don't think they'll mind. So you see that window right there? So it's a little bit old. So we're gonna replace that window, but you know, while we're in there, we're gonna basically just chop off the whole roof so that we can crane in one of the 911s so I can kind of have one of those monuments, you know what I mean? Like decor pieces, you know, everyone's doing that these days. You know, I think my wife's totally fine with this. So we're gonna plan to do that. The contractor's coming in a little bit, like about an hour. The crane already got here. You can show them the crane right there. So we're gonna get that started and yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see content like this because if you don't, that's what you're missing out. How to put Porsche in your master bedroom without your wife's permission. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. As you can see, we bought our first home. It's a blessing. It's gonna be a big, big, big project. I just wanna remind you guys that this is still gonna be a primarily auto car channel. Still gonna be bringing you guys plenty of progress on the builds. Just wanted to introduce something, feel your guys' thoughts, hear you guys out, see what you want, see what you don't want. And yeah, we're gonna to continue to bring some heat for 2023. Can't wait to continue to make some progress on all the builds bring some to be finally on the road and do some cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out the other videos. Be sure to check out the merch, cop some stuff on the website. Appreciate it as always. Catch you guys next time. As always, be blessed and be superish. Are we good?